Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make Anzac biscuits. Anzac biscuits are traditionally a biscuit that is made on for Anzac Day um, and it is a very easy biscuit to make because as you can imagine people um, in that hard time had um, very little refrigeration and things like that and obviously they wanted to be able to have something sweet if they was lucky enough. So all the ingredients, with the exception of the butter, are um, perishables, as they would say, or non-perishables. That's the word. Perishables are the ones that have to go in the fridge. Non-perishables. Pantry staples, things that you find in your pantry. So it was really easy to gather up all the ingredients for this. So this is what we need. It's going to give us 20 biscuits, which is pretty good. And we're going to need a small saucepan, a mixing bowl, oven on 160, and two baking trays, which we're going to line with paper. So come on in and I'll show you what all the ingredients are. And let's make some bickies. Okay, so as previously mentioned, um, all ingredients are ready accessible ingredients. Um, obviously, they're things that were carried with um, the soldiers and the cooks and whoever at the time um, that was able to cook. Uh, so, here's what we need. Three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, one cup of plain flour, one cup of shredded coconut. You can use the shredded coconut, which is more like a flake, or you can use the finer one. One cup of rolled oats, aka that's your porridge. Don't get the quick cooking ones. Get the ones that take um, the normal rolled oats. 125 grams of butter. That's salted butter, not unsalted butter. Two tablespoons of golden syrup, half a teaspoon of bicarb of soda, and two tablespoons of boiling water, which I haven't got here, but that's waiting in the kettle, ready when I am. So, now that you know what's going into it, let's make some Anzac bickies. Okay, so first of all, our little saucepan. We're going to put the butter in it. You can chop it up a bit smaller if you want or just leave it large. Either way, it, it's going to end up little. So I'm going to put that on to six and then I'll back it off. We want in there, so that's 125 grams of butter for those that forgot how much was going in. We want two tablespoons of our golden syrup, which I've got to open. It's a new, a new, new jar. Golden syrup's very yum. It's very sweet, um, but obviously um, it's one of those. And the good thing with this is as well as adding sweetener, it is also um, a little bit of liquid. There's one. All right, here comes the second one. Okay, so once you get this melted, we're going to add the bicarb and the hot water to this. So because I've got golden syrup all over everything, I'm just going to leave that there. That will melt off. All right. Let's go back over to the other side and grab our dry ingredients, get them ready. Okay, so into this bowl, we need the brown sugar. One cup of plain flour. One cup of shredded coconut and one cup of rolled oats. 
All right. You want a, something to stir that with, but not really because um, you will be getting the other stuff eventually in here. But just give it a bit of a stir in. Break up any lumps that are in the brown sugar. All right. So I'm just going to boil the kettle again so I can dissolve the bicarb in the hot water. So I'm just going to grab a teacup for that. Just back off the heat with your butter because you don't want it too intense. I'm going to put the half a teaspoon of bicarb in here now. And then just bring the kettle over to get the two tablespoons. And we've got to mix that in. So we need a small stirring stick, a.k.a. a teaspoon. All right. That's boiled because I boiled it not too long ago. So I'll go and grab that. That'll do. That's hot enough. I don't want to burn myself. Now the butter's starting to tell me that it's heating up, which is good. All right. I thought that was cracked for a second there. Two tablespoons of water. Now that froths up rather nicely when you do that. Beautiful. All right. Just going to... Mix the butter and the um, golden syrup together. Oh, it's been a long day and I forget what I'm saying, so bear with me. All right, I'm going to mix this about. We just want to dissolve the bicarb in with that. So, in a small saucepan, melt 125 grams of butter and two tablespoons of golden syrup. Meanwhile, combine half a teaspoon of bicarb with two tablespoons of boiling water. Add to melted butter, butter mixture and stir well. Then we're going to pour it all into here. So, I'll be back in a few seconds, ready to go. Okay, so now once that's all melted together, in goes the bicarb, which I can see some still stuck in the bottom. I hate when that happens. Just put a bit in here. We need the bicarb in here because that will help it rise. All right, near enough is good enough. Okay, so make yourself a well. For those of you that are new to cooking, the well is basically where you literally make just a little bit of a gap down the middle so that you can put the wet stuff in. Mix it all about easier. Woo. Mix it all about. easy. All right, let's get our trays and let's get rolling. Okay. So it says to roll tablespoons of the mixture. So I'm just going to grab a normal tablespoon, mainly because the other two measuring spoons are in the sink now. So it's supposed to make 20, but we'll see how we go. I think the more the merrier, but then you want 
nice big biscuits as well. You don't want little tiny ones. Ah, right, we'll get another three on here. We'll see how we go. One, two, and one more. All right, let's grab the other tray. We'll fiddle with those after. dropping my rolled oats all right so once we've got all these done we're going to flatten them so that if they spread they're not going to spread too far we want to bake them for 15 minutes 15 to 20 minutes I prefer a chewier biscuit so therefore I would give it 15 minutes if you want a firmer biscuit go for 20 minutes but I'm going to do one tray at a time so that way they've got the full oven to cook in. So I'll get this one in and I will see you in 15. Okay, so I could smell them and I turned it down to 150, but they're looking really good. They're still a bit soft in the middle, but you'll be very surprised how quick they'll firm up while they're cooling. And you can see why. You had to leave a gap between them. I only just made it. All right. I really hope you enjoy these Anzac biscuits as much as I enjoyed showing you how to cook them. This has been Anzac biscuits. You've been watching Cooking with Violet Vixen. And I hope to catch you soon.